generally we are going to have transports uh, which we are going to assume as the internet transport and then we're going to have a transport that is going to be MPLS. So these transports, I would just say, these transports are going to be used to connect multiple sites together. So we are definitely going to have a site that will have all the controllers. So it's like one of the controller that we're going to have is we manage. That's one thing or you can say. Then second controller is going to be we bond. The third controller is going to be we smart. And the fourth controller, oh sorry, the fourth device, however, in that site is going to be a router acting as your root CA, root certificate authority. And all of these controllers can actually be connected to the one you can say core switch. And then this core switch is going to be connected to both the transport. That's uh, how it's going to work. And then you are also going to have a vManage connected to your management PC. So that's something that is also going to be taken care of. Then you can say this is going to be one of your site that will be available. And this site will kind of be named something as, let's say we will call it as site number 100. Then after that, there are going to be multiple other sites. So you're going to have your uh, Vantage 1 and you're going to have your Vantage 2. And these Vantages are basically part of same site. So then you can have internal lands situated like this is the core switch of the internal land and then that core switch can be connected to multiple routers inside or so or so this can be named as something like site number one then you can have some more sites like you can have site number two where you are or let's name it as site number three and Vantage 3 is going to be placed with the internal router or so and various lands inside of that. And then you can have your another site there, which can be as site number 4 with having your Vantage 4 and the internal routers inside. And then you can also have another site site number five and your van edge or i'll just kind of put it right beneath your primary site which is here so you can have your van edge five there as site number five and then the internal routes connected so these vantages are going to be connected with the transport that this is going to be connected here. That's going to be connected here. That's going to be connected here. That again here. And then these vantages are also going to be connected to MPLS as well. So here, 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 and here. And this vantage will kind of, let's say, only is connected to the MPLS fabric and nothing apart from that. So you can see how the communication is working up. Your data probably would be leaving from here and then it might need to reach out from here to here. So the communication can be done from here to here like this. Or it can be done from here to here as well. Or it can be done over the other transport as well from here to here. 
or it can be done from here to here as well. Makes sense. But all of these sites are basically going to be provisioned from these four controllers. So the WAM we manage is basically going to interact with all the devices. This manage, this manage, this manage, this manage, and this manage as well. And the managers are basically in control of we manage, and it provides the configuration of that uh, scenario, uh, and then the managers get provision. So the thing is that once the managers are basically part of the fabric, then be it the public internet connection or be it the MPLS connections, the managers kind of build up the private IPsec tunnels over any transport, be it MPLS, be it public internet. So, and by building this particular, uh, you can say IPsec tunnels, the data planes are basically secured in a way. So whatever traffic that you're gonna uh, like forward from the internal lands, it gets encrypted into the tunnel over every type of transport there. And this tunnel is going to be IPsec tunnel. And then all the in information that will be leaving from here will be encrypted by using encapsulation security payload. And then it will be received on the other side. And then the traffic goes smoothly for the internal networks there. That's how the data plane is going to be secured there. So there is VPN segmentation that works, okay, which we're gonna talk about everything in detail. But yeah, a VPN segmentation kind of works in this scenario where uh, your traffic will only be able to communicate on the other side if the same VPN is, connect, uh, is created. So it's like there are uh, three types of VPNs that are available in USD WAN fabric. One of the VPN is called as transport VPN, which is always going to be uh, VPN number zero. Okay, and that's basically the VPN between the managers and the controllers. So whatever communication is going to be done from here to manage, from here, to manage or even any controller from here to manage or from vSmart to manage. All of this kind of communication is done by using VPN zero, which we call it as transport VPN. Then whatever VPNs that you're gonna have internally on these sites over here, over here, over here, or over here, all these VPNs are going to be service VPNs. So if you wanna communicate from here to here, then the VPNs actually needs to be same. You need to have VPN number one on this side, and then you need to have VPN number one on this side as well. Then and only the communication will be possible between two sides there. Otherwise, there won't be any information about the route that's going to be advertised from one vanish to the other vanish. You get that? So that's VPN number. Um, like these VPNs are called as service VPNs for the internal LAN communications, and it can be anything between VPN number one to VPN number 511. And then there is a dedicated VPN number 512 for the out of band management. So the uh, management VPN is basically used and this interface can be binded with VPN number 512 for doing the con uh, configuration of the entire fabric there. 